welcome to this vlog. I'm just doing a little phone vlog to document this week because this is a huge week for me. It's my uh, week where I run the half marathon. So yesterday I was seven days out from running it to 13.1 miles in Madison, Wisconsin, November 10th. So after the fishing trip, I set this goal and we're like a week out. Um, today's Monday and pretty much I'm going to record at one of the gyms I do video work for. After that, I'm gonna work out there, come home, finish my Chipotle bowl, chill for a little bit, finish my work up, and then we'll go run. I have a 3.7 mile run. And I pretty much wanted to just document this week um, because this is like a worthy occasion and accomplishment for me. So yeah, let's, let's get out of here. About to drink this whole thing and just kill it today. Bam. Two Thought this would be cool to document, but I'm two days out having a little coffee, popcorn with one serving of olive oil and some garlic salt, one serving of popcorn. Being more mindful of my food as the run gets closer and then um, today is the last workout. I have a mile run and like a full body like workout. I'm just gonna do some kettlebell stuff and steel mate stuff. And then I won't do anything until Sunday. So I'm like 36 hours away. So I'm feeling good. Feeling it's popcorn good, man. Feeling good. <sighs> Just finished the last run. <sighs> so I just finished the last workout of prep. So I'm just gonna give the whole rundown of what prep was, what I learned from it, what I wanna do better going forward and all that jazz that I always document on this channel, but here we are. So I decided to start a half marathon right as the fishing trip ended. So I don't know, I, po I the last two years I made vlogs about the fishing trip that I go on annually with my cousin, my brothers and my grandpa. Um, we, that finished the 6th, and I think on the way home, we left like the 7th or the 8th from where we were at to coming back to where I live, and I was like looking up half marathons. I knew this was the time I wanted to do it when it's like getting cold, but it's not winter yet, and um, so I was searching for half marathons around this time because I had decided to do one, and I, I hit up my friend who has done two marathon or has done a marathon and asked her how she like trained and like knew what to do. And I downloaded the Nike app, which was recommended by her, the Nike running app. And it gave me a program and pretty much picked out a half marathon. I didn't sign up for it yet. Cause my mom like told me not to, cause in case I changed my mind, but I knew I was going to do it. So I picked the day, which was November 10th. It's a Sunday. It's two days from now. And, um, decided that that was my day. And conveniently, it's located in Madison, Wisconsin, where my, where my friend Ava lives, and rolled with it. So I started training uh, at, for the first, like, two or three weeks. My runs were, like, half a mile to two miles, which is, like, nothing out of the ordinary for me. Like, I typically do... Hello, cat. In my running history, I've done anywhere from one to four miles I, I think the longest run I've ever done every Thanksgiving I do a super long run for no reason and last Thanksgiving I did like six miles the Thanksgiving before that I did like seven so nothing out of the ordinary I'll probably do it again this year but um the the hard thing for me was when the runs started to get longer and more frequent so like when the when I started to have more than one two or three mile run every week and that's when I like that's what I looked forward to. I honestly looked forward to that suffering. I looked forward to the like conquering something and training for a goal and being serious about it. And at first I was taking my nutrition seriously and I was hitting all these runs and 
my nutrition faltered and I was never able to like figure out a good nutritional scheme and stick to something. And that's, uh, and that's always been a problem of mine since I started like my fitness. And since even before I started working out, eating was always my issue. Working out was always something fun to me because it's like a game, you always get to progress. One day I run two miles, the next day I run three, the next week I run four. Uh, two weeks ago I ran an eight and a half mile run. That's always super easy to me. Now, what I regret about this prep is that I left so much on the table with my diet that I because I didn't take it seriously. And I know that, well, let me back, let me backtrack. My goal is to run at a nine minute per mile pace, will, which will get me just under two hours in the half marathon. What I think is gonna happen because I didn't take my nutrition seriously uh, is that I'm gonna probably run it in like two hours and 10 minutes at like a 9.30, 9.45 pace. Um, and then I'm not, that's not super unfortunate to me. Like I'm not beating myself up about it because I am still gonna run the half marathon and that was always the priority. But um, just knowing that I left stuff on the table is kind of making me annoyed with myself. Um, but that's something that this prep is teaching me. Like nothing is, nothing, of, why would anything go to plan? I've never done this before and everything works. Everything gets better through failure. So I am gonna run the half marathon and I am gonna take things from this and learn from it and do something better next time I train for a half marathon. And that's how I try, that's, I try to apply that to everything. And the key here, and my, my goal for the actual race now that I'm done with prep and know kind of where I stand is to run it as fast as I can, but more importantly, to enjoy the process and really just like be ever present in the moment from when I leave to drive to Madison, which is where the race is, to picking up my race packet, which will include like my shirt and my number, to like documenting it, to putting up, like picking out the outfit I'm gonna wear when I run, cause like based on the weather and stuff and um, starting, um, you know, how I feel at the beginning, how I feel towards the end, how I feel when I finish. Like a lot of times recent, lately, like so much stuff is happening and there's so much more responsibility on my plate that when something good happens, I'm thinking about the next thing. I'm not really being present. The other day I got a text from a buddy like explaining how like how I inspire him and like he's been keeping up with my content and like super flattering stuff about how he's like rooting for me and it I I have a hard time soaking that stuff in cuz like yeah everything is going dope on every like I'm getting clients my movie's premiering at Lake Theater like everything I could ask for but what my problem is, is being present and really enjoying these moments of like stillness and just soaking in the joy of what I'm doing. Because what I don't want to do is like do stuff and then look back on it and be like, damn, I wish I really enjoyed that more while it was happening. Because like, I don't know, that's just a, there's no point to doing stuff if you're not enjoying it while it's happening. And I'm not saying I don't enjoy what I'm doing. I'm just saying I could definitely do better at being more present. So my goal for this race is just to be you know, not to think about finishing it when I'm hurting and not to be excited for the next fitness venture that I do and not to be thinking about how far I am from the starting line and how much longer I have to the finish line. And I just want to be so happy with what's going on or so present in with, with what's going on throughout this process. Cause I only get this a finite amount of times in my life. Like so I just wanna focus on that and not, you know, like I have goals, but I'm not even gonna venture down that rabbit hole of those other goals until I really enjoy this process. And that's where I'm at after the last run of prep. And those are my takeaways and definitely like a positive experience for me. Running helped me edit my documentary um, when I, like I used running as a tool to get creative. Like I would be like working and, and editing all day and then I'd go on a run to re-energize myself to start editing my documentary for that day. Cause like I would be doing client stuff for hours and be so tired looking at the screen and then 
go on a run and that would be like a spike of, that would be like a caffeine spike like running was so crucial to my like it was so woven into the process of my documentary being edited that I will like forever hold a spot for it because it just and I will always keep doing it for that reason even if I don't always run half marathons or if I don't ever run a marathon I will always weave this into my process and I'm just happy that I learned that through this prep like th that alone was such a positive takeaway and I'm just rambling now but like you know it's been a crazy year and we're coming to the end and like looking back on all the accomplishments and like I'm so happy with the accomplishments that I did have and like the exponential growth that I am starting to see in myself and in my 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 content and like in the the business but now it's about being present and happy in these moments cuz I I get so much anxiety sometimes from like not being that and I want this run to be like the starting line for that for the rest of my life so oh I'm going to stop rambling cuz I could go on and on forever about the benefits of running a half marathon and would I recommend it? Yes, totally. If that's something your body is physically capable of doing, which it is for most people, unless you have like a debilitating physical impalement. I would try something like this cuz it's awesome, but uh thank you. I'm happy for this prep and I'm excited to keep documenting in the whole run and just everything until I get home from Madison. So here we are. We're on the road now, stopping for gas, heading to Madison Saturday. The race is tomorrow. So I just had a, like a chicken wrap had a lot of veggies in it, uh, grilled chicken, uh, and then chips on the side just cause like, there's a lot of nutrients in that. And uh, also everything there I, that I just said is really easy to digest and it won't like bother me tomorrow morning. And also earlier today I had like a salad with like sweet potato, um, spinach, roasted chicken, just a bunch of like really healthy stuff. And then, a, and then like a super fruit smoothie. So that's how I ate today, I feel actually like super good. Like I definitely want to eat like that more, but I feel like primed for the race. And I've got these like salt packets that'll keep me running tomorrow, but tomorrow morning, we're well, gonna wake up. I'm gonna get my race outfit. We're gonna head there. Six in the morning, feeling up the outfit. I got a thermal on under here. I got the on your mark jacket, joggers, Running shoes. I'm gonna wear these gloves. And then this headband. Once again, congratulations and thank you to all But factoring in the hills, I got 205 and a half minutes. Very happy with the performance I left on the table today. You can check the Madison half marathon off the list.